Now to sport, Gloucestershire's wheelchair fencing gold medal winner Piers Gilliver has been showing off his skills again. Less than 48 hours after returning home from the Paralympics, I'd be exhausted. He's been putting on a demonstration at the University of Bath where he trains. And our sports ed editor, Alistair Durden, was in the audience as yes. well. Was it amazing? It was amazing. Yeah, quick recap. Piers obviously won gold, silver and bronze out in Tokyo. And you watch it on telly and you go, well, that looks good. But when you see it close up and I was as close as we were you just see how explosive and how athletic it is and you know the upper body strength you have to have for wheelchair fencing and the flexibility to avoid your opponent as well it was it was, it was remarkable it really was I mean the demonstration I should say wasn't just for me it was also for fencers from his local club Bath Swords they were there along with Justin Tomlinson the government minister for the disabled and Piers did not disappoint his audience there were no medals up for grabs today, just a small audience fascinated by watching the Paralympic champion at work. Piers took up fencing 11 years ago. He was just looking for a hobby. Now he's world number one, reigning world champion and a gold medalist. People often ask me, like, when was the step change between hobby and looking at the Paralympic gold? And there really was never a moment. <laughs> it just kind of, next thing I know, one step to the other step, the other step, and you kind of look back sometimes like, how did I even get here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, I went there really hoping for the gold, but to actually achieve it, you know, after so many years of training for it, it just really hasn't sunk in. And when I finally scored that last point, um, it just, yeah, felt the most incredible feeling to finally achieve that. And we talk a lot about what you've done for wheelchair fencing, but what has it done for you, do you think? It's just really changed my life hugely. Um, yeah, I'd gone from being a really low point in my life and not really sure what to do to now it's just taking me to the heights I'd ne never imagined. So I think the more people that can try disability sport, try fencing, try any sport, um, really you never know where it's going to take you and it's certainly changed my life. A message echoed by the Minister for the Disabled who was watching today's demonstration and with a promise of money to help clubs support disability sport. Part of the funding that the government is providing is to reach out to more of the local clubs to be able to open their doors, to have the confidence. Because when I've talked to coaches, sometimes there is a reservation. Would we be able to offer the facilities, the opportunities? Yes, they can. So where's that going to go? Yeah, they've got like a little cabinet back in Dryburg, so... As well as individual gold, Piers won a team silver and bronze with his University of Bath teammates Dimitri Kutia and Oliver Lamb Watson. An incredible achievement for the trio, who hadn't competed internationally since lockdown began last year. It was a big challenge, you know. I've been training with the same, t pretty much two guys most, most days, um, whereas guys from China and Russia have just hundreds of sparring partners. To win the medals on the team events meant so much to me. You know, these, these guys, they're my best mates and teammates and everything, really. Um, and it meant a lot because I know how much we've pushed each other and worked together. It's to see that you know, come to fruition and to get those medals here yeah, was really amazing. Piers plans to defend his title at the Paris Paralympics. But first, the chance to rest and enjoy his success. Yeah, last the chance.